Hi Acadiana, I'm Taylor Tool. It's Friday, September 23rd. Here's a look at news making headlines. Law enforcement agencies throughout the state are working to get to the bottom of a hoax Thursday that put schools on alert statewide, Acadiana included. We received calls from parents from at least six parishes about schools being on lockdown. Different police agencies posted updates on social media about the hoax. A state police spokesman says this is happening across the country. According to state police, they were advised over the past week of multiple active shooter reports at schools in Arkansas, California, Florida, Kansas, Illinois, Minnesota, Oregon, Oklahoma, Texas, and Virginia. Authorities in St. Mary Parish say, that, say the calls usually target junior high and high schools as a hoax. All things considered, Superintendent Tommy Byler of Vermilion Parish says their school system will continue to prioritize student safety. We plan to come to school and educate kids. That's our job. School safety is also part of our job. And in today's day and age, it's even tougher than before, but we, we, we take it as priority and we're going to run our school systems and show back up to work tomorrow with a smile on our face, ready to educate the kids of Vermeen Parish. Three people will stand trial in connection to a deadly shooting at a Broussard gas station earlier this year. Back in April, Terrell Fontenet Jr. was found shot to death in a car at a gas station on Bonaire Road. Thursday, a grand jury indicted three suspects in the April shooting of Terrell Fontenet Jr. Rico Gabriel and Christopher King were indicted on second-degree murder charges. DeJalen Charles was indicted on a principal-to-second-degree murder charge. And the city, Lafayette City and Parish Council could consider a veto override when it comes to pay raises at LCG. Lafayette Mayor President Josh Guillory used his line item veto power to restore pay raises that were unanimously rejected by both the city and parish councils. Those raises total $259,000 for 15 employees, with some directors getting an increase of more than $30,000. The councils could consider a veto override on October 4th. And over in St. Martin Parish, over 600 locations will soon have access to high-speed internet. The first groundbreaking for the Gumbo Broadband Project happened just Thursday at the Cade Community Center in St. Martinville. Governor Edwards was there, and this project is meant to expand service to underserved areas in St. Martin Parish. And weather-wise, another hot one out there today as we round out the week, 95 to 96. Into the afternoon under uh, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Slight chance at a quick pop-up shower, but rain chances no better than around 10%. It's going to stay hot through the course of the weekend as highs continue to push well into the mid-90s. Rain chances isolated in nature no better than 10 or 20%. Cool front arrives on Monday, and with that, we are going to be looking at some much nicer and pleasant weather through the entirety of next week. Lots of sunshine with high temperatures back down into the 80s with lower humidity as well. Well, that's going to do it for this news and weather update. For now, for future updates, keep it tuned to TV3.